Member of the press, uh, we are delighted to welcome you to the to this press conference taking place this afternoon. Uh, surely we are germanely motivated to draw the attention of Nigerians and the federal government of Nigeria and the world at large to the to the solidify mutation and grooming of another terrorist sect in the country. Its members have disguised under the canopy of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, IMN. As you are aware, we're always bringing the attention of Nigerians to any threat that we see and research upon. And that is one area we have done a lot of work now. No one is in doubt that the Islamic movement in Nigeria are affiliated to the Islamic State, ISIS, ISIS. That is a dangerous terrorism group based in the Republic of Iran with a knack for sponsoring terror sects in countries all over the world. We must not forget that Nigeria has had a taste of their venomous swords in Boko Haram insurgency. IMNS leader from Sheikh Ibrahim El Zakizaki to those at the lower ranks of leadership of these religious extremists of violence sect have never hidden its affiliation to ISIS and the Republic of Iran. All have boasted publicly and at different times of importing the Iranian Shai ideology into Nigeria and West Africa subregion. In recent times, and with the lawful detention of the spiritual leader of IMN, Sheikh El Zakzaki, the sect members have engaged security agents in countless violent confrontations in Abuja and elsewhere under the pretext of protests over the detention of their leader. The supposedly peaceful protests turned violent as they forcefully broke into the gates of the National Assembly complex, chanting anti-government songs and Allah Akbar. They also brandished dangerous weapons, compelling the police sentinels to take to their heels to avoid another clash with the sect members. It is very clear to all the sending minds that El Zakzaki is standing trial over alleged acts of terrorism, which in the past resulted into mass murders, alongside other adherents of his sex in possession of firearms in quantities and sophistication, only permissible in the hands of Nigerian security agents or state recognized agencies. We have no iota of doubt that the AMI are operating a republic within a republic, which is insal insalubrious for the security and peace of law abiding citizens. Therefore, the failure of the relevant federal authorities to tame this emerging terror sect in Nigeria at its embryoic stage has bolstered their courage to relentlessly harass the state and security agents. Many Nigerians have met their untimely death in the hands of the IMN sect members. In fact, media reports credited to the Sri Lankan authorities say the attackers were affiliated with the local terror group. The attackers were radical Muslims. Their motives were religious. Their targets were Christians. And two days later, ISIS in a statement claimed responsibility for the Sri Lankan suicide attack on Christian populations. With the manner the IMN sect members are progressively becoming violent and the extent they have stockpiled arms and ammunition which they openly display each time they confront the Nigerian state, we fear a possible replication of the Sri Lankan scenario in our country, and lawful steps must be taken to curb the excesses of the sect. We dare say the Nigerian government, particularly the uh, Minister of Justice, is senselessly romancing an emerging terror sect in the country. This is unacceptable and condemned, condemned them. I am named uh, IMN headquartered in Cardinal has been outlawed and logically nobody has the legal right to operate under its banner anywhere in Nigeria as they constantly assemble to, vow, to violently invade Abuja. No new association of its ink has been registered anywhere in the country. Lastly, we call on the federal government and particularly that to the General Minister of Justice to expedite action on designating the IMN 
sect as a terrorist organization to finally lay to rest the tormenting ghost of these monsters and religious extremists. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. We appreciate your audience and thank you for the patience of listening to us.